Well, a function from 2D to 3D takes two numbers as input and outputs a point in 3D space. We can model our input as a point in 2D space and then write what its 3D output is on the right. Instead of looking at what a function does to points though, it's often more constructive to consider what a function does to all points at the same time. And by modeling our inputs as a plane, we see that our function transforms our 2D input into some 3D shape. This is called the function's image. Okay, but what does it mean for a function to be onto? I mean, let's get back to the question. Well, an onto function is one that fills its output space. And this should seem pretty hard, and it is. But the question asks, can a linear transformation be onto? So what is a linear transformation? Well, formally, it's just a function that satisfies these two rules. But to understand the value of this just simple constraint, let's, let's look at three different ways I can write the coordinates of, of a point. Notice how we can break up our xy list at the top into two similar lists at the bottom. We can write any xy list as a scaled combination of 1, 0, and 0, 1. Namely, if you want to know t of xy, you simply need to know t of 1, 0, and t of 0, 1. The lists 1, 0, and 0, 1 are called a basis, and they're special. Because if we assigned R2's bases like this, we could use our equation to find a formula for t's output. We could then use that formula to see what t does to all points of the input at the same time. Now you tell me, can a linear transformation from 2D to 3D be on 2? <laughs>